Oh, 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 I'm feeling the slightest tingle ever on my brows. There is the slightest, very visible increase. I'm really making sure to get it right to the root because that is what we want to actually stimulate. Hi guys, today I really want to see what The Ordinary's Multi-Peptide Serum for Hair Density is gonna do to my lashes and to my brows after I use this for one entire month. Now I know that this is meant for your actual hair, however our eyebrows and our lashes are basically the exact same thing, so I'm really wondering what effect it's gonna have on me. But anyways, reading from Beauty Bay, this actually says it is a concentrated serum to promote thicker, fuller, and healthier hair. Lightweight and innovative multi-peptide serum for hair density deeply penetrates the scalp to encourage circulation and promote healthier hair follicle. Effortless to apply, this essential formula transforms the hair, leaving it longer and stronger than before. So not only is this going to increase the density of our hair, but also it's going to make it thicker and longer. Girl, this sounds like a miracle worker. Now I have tried castor oil in the past and it has worked wonders for me, so I'm truly curious to see how this is going to compare to that one. But anyways guys, I'm honestly super excited to try this out now. Hopefully this will give me thick brows and long lashes even though right now I am wearing makeup on both of them but I'll show you how they look without any makeup later on in the video. But you guys honestly I'm super excited to try this out so without further ado let's get to experimenting shall we? Okay guys so first off right now I don't have any makeup on and I really want to show you what my eyebrows look before we start with this experiment. So as you can see I have definitely a hole right here if you can tell on that eyebrow so I'm really hoping that this could fill it and also it's very sparse like, towards the end of my eyebrows like especially right here. I literally have a hole also a little bit on the front and as far as my eyelashes go i don't know if you can tell but they're definitely a little bit sparse also they do tend to fall off very easily like literally when i'm washing my face some eyelashes fall off but anyways let me first see the smell oh okay so it smells a little bit kind of like rotten eggs like not pleasant at all but also a little bit mixed of like the matrixel and the buffet also from the ordinary but anyways i'm not going to use the dropper just because i feel like it's better if i just simply use a spoolie like i always do with the castor oil too so i'm gonna dip it in and see how it feels on my brows okay so it's definitely very lightweight it's not as oily as what a castor oil would be i don't feel like this would drip down my face like the castor oil does which is definitely very annoying oh oh oh, oh. Oh, 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 I'm feeling the slightest tingle ever on my brows. And as you can see, I'm really making sure to get it right to the root because that is what we want to actually stimulate the root of the follicle of the hair. And by the way, guys, what I've decided is I will try my best to not pluck my eyebrows throughout this month. Hopefully, I will be able to do that, but I don't like having messy brows. But just I really want to see how much it'll be capable of actually regrowing the hair that I have plucked before. Okay, guys, now comes the worrying part. Putting this on my eyelash. I don't know since this is a peptide maybe it's gonna sting my lashes hopefully not let's see I'm running it through once again oh 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 a little bit went in my eye oh my god it's not stinging at all okay that is definitely a positive you guys to be honest guys first impressions I'm quite impressed like I'm definitely liking this way more than using castor oil just because castor oil does sting my eyes and also it runs through and it's very oily and thick definitely though we have to see how it compares and if it actually works better okay guys so it's been about a week of me constantly applying this every night before going to bed and as you can see like I don't feel like there has been much change in my brows but in my lashes I definitely do see them a little bit thicker and also a little bit longer but anyways guys before I show you the pictures I actually was curious and interested to see what the ingredients in this were so I made my research on my notes I have them right here I'm gonna read them with you so first of all there is propendial which is actually an ingredient that is supposed to boost the penetration of active ingredients like for example the peptides in this serum so that definitely makes sense and is very good to have in this. Then there's also butylene glycol and glycerin. Now, whenever you see GLY in any ingredient, apart from glycolic acid, that means that it is glycerin based. The word is going to be humectant, moisturizing to the skin, and very hydrating. Then, you guys, there is caffeine. Now, caffeine for the skin is very good because it actually is amazing for, for example, fighting dark circles and dark spots. But for the hair, I couldn't really find anything that caffeine would be beneficial for. But okay. Then there's also Larix Europea wood extract, which provides 
high quality nutrition for the hair and can effectively activate hair follicle stem cells. So basically non-working or damaged hair follicles, this is supposed to stimulate it and make them grow back. So you guys, that is wow, amazing. Then there's also um, Pisum Sativum Extract, which is pea sprout. Basically it is shown to improve the hair density, so this will thicken the hair, which is definitely called a hair density serum, so that makes sense. And lastly, there's also Scuterilla Baraxiensis, I probably butchered that name, root extract, which is stimulates the roots and improves the scalp microcirculation, working to reduce hair loss. You guys, so basically, this is not only going to make our hair more denser, it is going to revitalize and make damaged hair follicles regrow and also prevent hair loss. You know, I was held at gunpoint with Junior Princess in South Africa. Yeah. Um, my mum being told she was dying. My German Shepherd got killed on my driveway. My horse got killed outside my house on the dual carriageway. Um, at this point, I might also use this right here because, girl, we would love to see this grow back. But anyways, guys, I want to show you close up of my eyebrows because, as you can see, the hole is right here. There's, It's still there. Maybe the hair follicles are not starting to grow back quite yet but to be honest a week might not be enough at all and this part of the brow which was like the sparse one i mean it still is very sparse however i will say i am starting to see the tiniest little pieces of brows growing back so you guys that is definitely very good also i feel like the hairs in general that are already here they definitely got longer a little bit now for the eyelashes i'm gonna put two pictures right here the one of week one and now the week two and as you can see i definitely at least in my opinion feel like there is the slightest very visible increase in the lash length and maybe also like more lashes in general however as far as the eyebrows go truly I cannot see any difference at all for now so we definitely need more time to see so it is the third week of me applying this now I'm gonna show you right now what my eyebrows look like but the little hole that you can see here I feel like it definitely is being filled a little more like some little hairs are growing back as you can see so I'm definitely very impressed on the other eyebrow I don't feel like it's growing that much more maybe the hairs that were already here are getting longer so it does look a little bit more covered but i'm not seeing any new hairs coming up now i have to say i didn't resist into not plucking my eyebrows unfortunately i had to like i don't like messy brows they gotta be on fleek for me so i couldn't now as far as for the lashes goes you'll see the pictures that i'll insert right here now but honestly from week two to week three i don't feel like there has been much improvement of much change but honestly i feel like it does make sense because like lashes cannot grow to the longest forever like they can't be elephant lashes you know what i mean you can't be creating wind by batting your eyes <laughs> after they get to the maximum length that so your lashes specifically can go like I feel like that would be the max but honestly guys I feel like I truly need another week to make sure to know if this is better than castor oil and if this is actually effective and worth the coins they say the eyes are the windows to our soul logically therefore our eyelashes must be the curtains well let me tell you I had no idea that until now I was rocking dollar store quality curtains therefore after after using this, I actually upgraded them. I, t I bought the top bougiest curtains. I actually went to Target, which is the fancier version of Target. And I bought the longest, most thickest curtains they had. So much so proof that actually Queen Elizabeth herself, Her Majesty, called me up. She was like, yo, Matt, so I am trying to refurnish Buckingham Palace. And I have seen your curtains and I really like them. I was wondering where you got them from. I was like, yo, girl, you know what? I'm going to tell you because we've been friends for a while now. So I'm going. However, Donald Trump actually wants them for his White House. And I ain't about to give him the same curtains because me and him, we do not go well together. So you're going to have to keep this a secret. All right. Uh huh. So I'm going to tell you one word, one word. Tarje. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, you always crack me up, Lizzie. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later for tea then. Say hi to William. Bye. True story. But besides that, it's absolutely disgusting that people still 
even entertain him. It's utterly despicable that people still pretend to laugh at him and find him funny. I'm actually gonna tell you the positives of what I actually like this before I actually even compare it to castor oil, which I have used in the past. First of all, the ordinary, let me, let me talk to you for one second right here. Not only did I feel like I did see results, especially in the first two weeks of using this, after the third week, I feel like it plateaued a little. And truly after the fourth week, I didn't see any improvement at all. However, this is amazing. I was really skeptical at first. Okay, I have cheated a little, I'm not gonna lie. I usually never watch reviews from other YouTubers before I actually dive deep into a product and experiment with it. However, for this one, I was like a little bit too curious and I was like, you know what? Let me see what them other girlies be saying about this. And a lot of the girlies actually were saying that it wasn't working a lot for them. So I did not have high expectations. However, for me, I did see improvements, I did see results. Starting with the consistency, I wanna say this is serum consistency, whereas the castor oil, yeah, okay, I'm comparing it to the castor oil straight away now. You know what, it's gonna be much easier. And if I was, what was you gonna do about it? I'm gonna tell you to stop, okay? And I'm not gonna stop, and then what? This is a lot lightweight, whereas the castor oil is an oil, therefore it's really oily. <laughs> but basically what that means is that the castor oil will basically run down and it's not pleasant at all. This one instead actually sticks to the hairs and it actually feel like it penetrates a little bit into the actual skin because it gives you that little tingling sensation at first. But this is when you apply it to the brows. If we are talking about applying to the eyelashes, I have to say if you have to pay attention to how much you put because if you actually dip the spoolie into the serum and then straight on go to the lashes, that's gonna be too much. And actually, it will make your eyes burn. So don't. What? I got my three kids and we bounced out. Uh-uh, we ain't gonna be in no fire. Not today. However, what you can do is first applying on the eyebrows and then the remaining, trust me, it's gonna be enough, you can brush it over your eyelashes and that will coat them evenly, very nicely, without being too much and you won't risk it getting it into your eyes and therefore stinging. Whereas the castor oil, since it's thicker, it's more oily, not only will it still kind of like burn a little bit in your eyes, but also it's gonna blur your vision. Therefore, you'll also be a little bit blind. Like when you take off the reading glasses, that's what it's gonna be like. Now, the results compared to castor oil, I feel like they're quite similar to me. Even though the formula for this is a lot more complex, like it contains a lot of peptides. All of those peptides that we read together in the vlogs, I'm amazed of how many. And the research that The Ordinary did and put into this product for it to actually work. However, I have used castor oil for two years straight on my brows and it took me so far. I actually had really sparse eyebrows when I started my castor oil journey and throughout those two years, I definitely have seen a drastic improvement. When I started with this one, my brows were already at a quite nice stage. My eyelashes, I never put castor oil in my lashes previously, so I did see a huge improvement with my lashes, but with my brows, I didn't see as much of a change. However, I did see a change in a very short span of time, whereas it took me two years with castor oil. So I would say castor oil does give you results, but in a very long time. This one maybe gives you the same results with castor oil, however, at a very much shorter span of time. Now, the claims that it makes is supposed to make your hair more denser. I know it's talking about the hair hair, but I mean, the brows and the lashes are basically the same hair. I did not see them becoming denser. I did see them growing longer. The already existing lashes I had, they grew a lot longer. It was like fertilizer for them hairs. And also, I'm gonna go on a leap here and say that maybe I have seen new lashes pop out and new eyebrows pop into my brows. However, I'm not gonna say it for sure, so don't quote me, but also at the same time, quote me, because it possibly might give you also new brows slash new lashes. Another interesting thing that I wanna comment on, then thank God, it came into my mind like literally right now, right now, is that now when I'm washing my face, usually I can always see a little bit of lashes coming off or eyebrows coming off when I'm maybe putting my eyebrow products when I'm doing my makeup. When I, since I started using this, a lot less of those are actually coming off. So maybe it was making the hair follicle itself a lot more stronger and also the hair. So that was definitely very impressive and very nice. So in that way, since you are maybe losing less of those hairs, uh, 
benefit of that is that basically you will get fuller lashes and fuller brows also to that point. Another thing that I want to touch on is baby hairs. As you have seen in the vlogs, I haven't covered this as much, but trust me, behind the scene, I was actually also putting it on my roots. Although I'm not going to take my hat off to show you because, I mean, I have hat hair underneath this and also I haven't washed it, so it's not... Okay, don't plaster me. I'm gonna take it off. Oh my god, you're so insisting. So as you can see, I don't feel like there has been a lot of growth in my baby hairs, if I have to say so myself. So maybe those other YouTubers that were actually trying it on their actual hair, they didn't see an improvement because maybe it doesn't work in the hairs. But one thing I want to say to The Ordinary, to you specifically, specifically is, stop calling yourself The Ordinary, okay? There is nothing ordinary about your products. Truly, The Ordinary, why are you so humble? Don't be so humble. You deserve every... Hmm. You know what? Maybe actually, The Ordinary, you know what you are. I see you. You actually know deep down that you are very good, but you do put on that humble persona. You know who you remind me very much of? Everyone has that girl in their class, usually high school, also sometimes university. That girl that before a test, you ask, you go up to her and you're always like, oh my god, I didn't study anything. I am not ready for this. I know that I will feel this. And she is going to be also like, oh my god, same. I didn't study anything at all. I'm not ready. I'm so going to feel the this class you get the results of the test the next week and what did you get top of the marks and you're like girl what what is the point of our conversation why did you lie to me i'm stupid bitch you're a, a compulsional compassionate liar i feel like the ordinary this the they know each other very well. They're sisters. And now, ultimately, I know what y'all might be thinking. You might be thinking, okay, Mateo, you have said your piece. You have said the positives, but now it's it's time for you to get on the negatives. I know you always got something to say, something bad to read the girls you love to read. You're a librarian. I'm a massive fan of the dictionary. You know, we should be, like, promoting the dictionary anyway. I have thought long and hard to actually read The Ordinary and read The Girls, but you know what? I didn't find anything. Arguably, the only thing that I don't like, but it's a very minor thing, is the fact that this comes with a dropper. Like, what was the point? What was the thinking behind this? You knew that we were all gonna use spoolies or our fingers to massage it in. Because what am I gonna do with a dropper? Like, I'm gonna drop it onto my eyes? Like, eye drops? No. But, again, like, that is nothing much the formula is on point the consistency is on point so truly you please me a lot and I'm very hard to please I'm kind of like a pregnant woman okay you are husband material you gave me chocolate when I needed chocolate you said sorry when I wanted an apology truly you you are husband material that when you are the ordinary <laughs> But now the question that comes is, Mateo, would you use this in your skin routine after the experiment is over? Especially since you have used castor oil for two years. This is the one million dollar question right here. Even though I've seen amazing results with this, I have gone back to castor oil. I am, however, during my daytime, when I'm not going outside and stepping outside of the house, I'm applying this on my brows and lashes just because of how lightweight it is. I couldn't apply castor oil in the morning during the day because truly it is such a thick, slimy product. It is is not comfortable. This one is very much more comfortable. However, again, the results that this gave me are amazing, so truly it is uh, just up to you. So anyways, if any of you have convinced you into buying this, which I totally get, then actually I'm going to tell you where I bought this from. You know, I never step outside of my house. It's just dangerous out there. You could run across Donald Trump. That, God forbid you do. I'm so sorry for you. Even worse, the sun. The sun is out there to aid you. Truly, you do not want that. So actually, it's much safer for you to order everything online. That is what I do. And I got this, of course, on Amazon. And I actually bought this for, I have the price right here, $29.99 Royal British Pounds. And this is actually for 60 ml. In these four weeks, I have used this much. So truly, this is going to last me, I feel like, a, a year at this point. This is just amazing. So you know that you girl always got you covered. So actually, I found the cheapest side of this thing that I could find on Amazon US and Amazon UK. And I linked it down below in the pinned comment for you to go buy it. So literally, if you want this, all you gotta do is click the link down below. But anyways, if you are new here, this was the first video that you saw. I mean, girl, you know what might have interest you into maybe joining the random family? You don't have to sign nothing. No disclosures, no NDA, no agreements. You don't have to pay nothing. It is all free. No scams at all. What you have to do is literally just subscribe to the bell icon so you don't miss any of my uploads because sis, let me tell you, we are all about skincare, fighting acne, fighting wrinkles, and just truly 
becoming the best glowy selves that we can be. So I would love to have you part of the Rundle family. Mwah! And also, if you want to see a little bit more behind the scene of what is going on in my life in general, then all you got to do is follow me on my Instagram here as well. I keep the same energy, by the way. So if you like what you're seeing here, you're definitely going to like what you see there. And also, if you maybe have any issues at all with your skin or you just want to talk or whatever, girl, don't hesitate to DM me. I would love to help you out. Mwah! And now to my randoms who are still watching, you know what time of the video is that. It's time for the Italian word of the video. And since this video was all about this The Ordinary's Multipeptide Density Hair Serum, the Italian word of the video is actually going to be, I wanted it to be capelli, which is hair in English. However, after having made the Queen Elizabeth analogy, I feel like it very much deserves Regina, which is queen in English. You know what? We don't have two words. So the first one is capelli. The second one is Regina. You decide which one you prefer. But so you know that I always like to put my words in context. Therefore, if you maybe find yourself in England this time, because in Italy, we don't have no kings. We actually cut their heads off. I feel like it was very much deserved. But anyways, if you find yourself in the United Kingdom first, come say hi. Ew. But also, if you maybe go into Buckingham Palace and you see the Queen and you want to maybe insult her, however, you don't want to speak English to her because then she might lock you up in the London Tower. I feel like that's the prison. What is it called? I have no idea. But what you can tell them is Senti Regina, i tuoi capelli stanno cadendo, which is yo queen, your hair, you are losing hair. You're welcome. Now you know how to insult a queen. What more do you need? Giving you skincare, giving you advice on insulting people, insulting royalty. This channel is all you need. But hey, don't click off, because I know what you're about to do. Since the video is ending, you think, all right, let me go watch one of these videos right here recommended by YouTube. Ah, uh, YouTube does not know what you need. What you need is one of these two videos right here, because it's just going to be as informative. Just as entertaining and whatever this was for you. But why doing that? Remember to be random and always be random, because life is better being random. Click one of them too though, or I have the queen on speed dial and I will just ring her up real quick and put you in jail. London Tower. Yes, indeed. Click.